estate agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host and business partner, Joey Sampaga, the man with the plan. How That's are you doing, me. Joey? Well, I'm doing well. How are you, Jeff? Good. You have a plan today? I do have a plan. We're going to be talking about new, new builds. builds. I can't yeah. wait. This is a fun one. We've got a great guest with us today. That guest is Nicole Blaze, COO with Statesman USA. Nicole. Hello, Welcome. gentlemen. I played yes. some music that you would... Probably really absolutely. like yeah. Ab- hockey fan, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. You <laughs> yeah. can't be from Canada and not love what, hockey. What team? Well, Calgary Flames. Okay, of so course. You're from that's where I'm from. Got so it. yes. Right. Yeah. So you don't like the Oilers. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no. Don't no. even go there. <laughs> <laughs> go Oilers. No. I'm yeah, sweet. Uh, All right. Well, let's. Um, we're going to have a little bit different show today than than normal because we're going to talk more about new builds and kind of what's what's happening with statesmen mm-hmm. um, and just I guess the the Phoenix metro area as far as new builds are concerned. Sure. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Why don't we start with you telling us how long you've been in the real estate world, right, and kind of sure. how you got started. Sounds great. Well, I've been uh, working with the Statesman Group for 20 years, believe it or not, which wow. is, I think, kind of a big deal. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. So I actually started with Statesman in their very first senior living development. So independent and assisted living that was built just over 20 years ago. And so I started in that uh, division of the organization okay. and worked with them for many, many years. And then uh, 10 years ago was asked to come down to the United States and help focus on some of the expansion efforts in the U.S. And from there, really got more exposed to kind of the multifamily division, the re- uh, the resort division okay. that we also look after. Got it. All right. Mm-hmm. So 20 years for yourself. Yes. How long has Statesman been in business? Sure. Well, our founder and owner, Dr. Garth Mann, started the company 43 years ago. He was actually um, starting doing uh, custom estate size homes okay. and really enjoyed that. He had uh, five um, uh, optometry clinics at the time, and his wife said, okay, something's got to give. You can't have five clinics and be a developer at the same time. And he loved building homes, so he gave up the practices, sold those, and went uh, full head force on uh, developing Statesman Canada and built beautiful product products there and projects from multifamily to the first villas up in Canada um, senior living division and then 23 years ago he asked one of his daughters to come down to paradise Arizona That's right. and start the USA division so she's been working hard at uh, building up the family business here as well so 23 years then here in the Phoenix area correct Right. Mm-hmm. You know what? We forgot. We have an extra person in that. Yes, we do. In the studio today. Not because <laughs> forgot we forgot about it. her. Well, I forgot to mention earlier, yeah. right? Um, so we'll, we'll get there right, right now. How about Linda's in the house, right? Linda Waymeyer Linda. with Security Title. Yes. Um, I guess Security helps you guys out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Very valid partner of ours, and they do great, great work for us. Well, thank you, Linda. She's not yeah, on the mic, but she's in the house. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, she's nodding. <laughs> yes, there we go. Yeah. So what, tell us some of the projects, about some of the projects that you're currently working on um, in the U.S., but also here in Arizona. Sure. Um, we've got two really exciting projects. One is down in Chandler. It's called the Ks at Downtown Ocotillo. And it's beautiful. A, it's yeah, yeah fabulous the big white project. Buildings and, yes, yeah. yeah. It's very um, unique in that it's got that Santa Barbara look and fa- and flair to it. Yeah. Um, we like to call it kind of an oasis in the desert. Um, and it's very special because of that piece. Um, it's also very special because we've designed just drop dead gorgeous units. Wow. Um, they're just beautiful, well appointed. Um, and what's really unique about that project as well is the main floor units have huge patios, huge patios. like okay. 700 square foot. Wow. So really? really an extension of people's living spaces, yeah. which is really, really wonderful. So do you have ones about 500 to 700 square foot total? Because Jeff's looking to minimize. <laughs> it <that laughs> no. no, no, he, he can live in he, the he uh, patio. He'd have to come and see one of our senior living properties. <laughs> and I don't he, well, think he's, he's quite there. ready he's for that yet. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's a real. Joey's a funny guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm picking up on that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, but it's a great project. You know, it's got top notch amenities. So a beautiful resort style pool that's heated year round. Unbelievable clubhouse, state of the art fitness center. 
um, we've really, really focused on trying to provide our valued owners um, uh, a lifestyle experience that they can't get anywhere else. And, yeah. you know, what's really unique about the case as well is it's part of that downtown Ocotillo, mm-hmm. which I'm not sure if you're familiar with, but, you know, all those shopping and restaurants right. that literally you could throw a stone to from the front entrance of wow. the case. So is that considered urban living? or I would call it urban living within that kind of center absolutely mm-hmm. yeah there are a lot of restaurants right around there absolutely know, yeah uh, so the living room was there is the there living room and, um, and let's see is there a sushi place there I yes thought? yeah rock lobsters the, there okay. yeah. and uh, yeah. there's a new mexican place that's opened and the steakhouse too i think yes there's steakhouse I can't remember this name of the steakhouse and, w- and chopped. Chopped. chopped yeah okay, yeah that's and right. one of my favorite places press coffee oh, okay yeah. you got to get a good coffee that's right that's the place to go nice so it's wonderful it's great so that's our first project that we're working hard on and it's a four phase development we've got the first building up and operational and the residents have been living there for just over a year and we're excited that phase two building two is mm-hmm. going to be um, moving the first residents in uh, the end of February Mm. So that's a big deal. That's, We're really, is. really excited about that. And then we have another fabulous project up in Desert Ridge. Oh. Many years ago, we bought 52 acres up in Desert Ridge, right across from the marketplace and yeah. um, High Street. Okay. So we own that whole development, and we've developed uh, 677 beautiful condominiums, including some casitas. Mm-hmm. And we've got um, uh, several different components of land that we're going to develop yeah. in addition to that so we're starting to break ground next month and we're doing some wonderful active adult um, awesome. uh, apartments called the Montreux we're going to do another senior living property there called the Manor Village at Desert Ridge mm-hmm. excited about that and then the fourth piece to finish off uh, the Toscana site is a beautiful high-end luxury condo development called the Lux. So hmm. we're very excited about all those projects and working hard on them. Yeah. Yeah. So are all of them now available for The only one that's well yeah, the ca- the case is available. Okay. The case at Downtown Ocotillo is absolutely for sale and available and we've got some great uh, great product to show people. Yeah. So everybody bring your clients. Hmm. Um, and then Toscana, we're actually the existing portion of the project that's called Toscana is in closeout. So we have one building left, building 10. We don't have many units uh, remaining. But what's unique about that particular building is that the units are fully furnished Mm -hmm. and we have an on-site property management company. So if you buy a unit there and you choose to not live there full time, then you can have it put in the property management uh, company and they will manage it for you and rent it out. So it's really a unique platform. There's only a restriction of 30 days. You have to rent it out for 30 days or more. Oh, I so see. Okay. it's great for investors oh, so as well. So not for the short so no term. Airbnb it's, stuff. It's no, 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 okay. no short term. Well, as long as it's 31 days or more. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's really a great, uh, great option for people. Okay. Yeah. No, that's awesome. How would you say that? Um, w- kind of what differentiates, I guess, statesman from some of the other, you know, big builders out there. Well, that's a great question. I think the first thing that that always sticks out in my mind is the fact that we're family owned and operated, you know, Mm -hmm. privately held. Mm -hmm. Um, And the whole family works within the company, which I think, you know, is a testament to the founder and and his wife. Um, I think the fact that we, in addition to having the family as the base, we have a lot of long-term team members. So I mentioned that I'm 20 years our director of construction is 21 years. Wow. Um, our first Manor Village here in the U.S. When it opened, uh, we hired a wonderful gal named Georgette Kelly to be the marketing director, and she's still with us 22 hmm. years later. Wow. Um, right. So we we have a phenomenal team that you know worked with us and been part of the Statesman family for a long time. Yeah, which we think uh, uh, you know speaks highly of the organization. Sure. And I think as well we're unique in that we're very diversified. Hmm. So, you know, our founder, Dr. Mann, said, you know, we want to we want to excel in a lot of different ways, um, but we all we ha- want to have diversification across the market. So, okay. as I said, we've got you know, our multifamily projects. We've got our um, uh, luxury condos under that. We've got yeah. the apartments that we do. And then we've got the senior living, which is a very special business to be in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that one's going to. Well, I may be wrong, but I think that's going to grow a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, over the next 10, 20 years. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. I think that there's a whole, um, 
segment of the market that is looking for options but maybe staying in their their existing home that they lived in for 30 40 50 years is maybe not the best option for them now and they want to know what's the next step yeah so i think there's plenty of opportunity to to look at yeah, different business sure. streams with the senior living is it are, are they being strategically placed to where it's easy like is there great walkability i mean can they get to whatever they need absolutely to get to? yes so for the toscana at desert ridge being part of that development as i mentioned i mean yeah. my goodness being across the street from high street mm-hmm. and the marketplace yeah. i'm from that area so i know it very well exactly yeah. the accessibility to all the medical care I, I think it's just a perfect blend and then also of course being part of of that uh, community our our first uh, manor village here in the u.s is in scottsdale and it's in a great location as well. So okay. location is very important, not only for, for the resident who calls the Manor Village home, but also for the family. Right. Because they're coming and going and... Uh, right. And well, I would think if they're, yeah, if they're one that, um, you know, senior living environment, I would think that they, especially if they're selling something big out into the, out in the suburbs somewhere, yes. right? Like getting out of that McMansion and... Oh, absolutely. In, um, they're gonna want to be closer to activities and just different things they can do. Absolutely. So. No, that is great. Mm -hmm. That is great. How would you describe um, a buyer for like any of the statesman projects? How would you? Well, it's interesting. We have typically found that our projects attract uh, more of a mature buyer. So someone that's getting close to retirement or has retired or, you know, is looking for a second home. Um, we do have some of uh, the professional group as well in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. But we certainly have found that uh, our, our product just attracts that. And I think a big part of that is because they're amenity rich. So the Toscana project that I mentioned, you know, that um, project alone has three resort pools. Wow. Two huge fitness centers, a clubhouse, a business center, awesome. and then a plethora of on-site staff from guard gate to security to concierge to mm. lifestyle to management team. So, you know, people at that age in life want to live and be part of a community. Mm-hmm. Um, and how do you get community? By being with right. like-minded individuals who you know want to get out and enjoy Absolutely. the amenities and the company and and the staff there to help kind of facilitate that. Well, and they may not want to have maintenance exactly uh, on a big yard. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I think yeah. That's. I think that's me already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sign me up for something that has no yard. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Maintenance-free uh, living is a, is a big thing. It yeah. really is. Absolutely. So, so our, uh, I know that builders are starting to use smart technology in the, the houses mm-hmm. and, and energy efficiency. Yes. Uh, are, is that um, part of? Uh, yes, absolutely. So on our next project, the Lux, mm-hmm. um, we're definitely focused on that. So we're, we're working with a company called Vivent to mm. do all the smart home technology in the unit. Nice. Um, the other thing that we've been doing, uh, we started this at the K's, is Um, working with another great provider where we provide unbelievable internet speed because you know in your own home your standalone home you get your 40 or 50 Mm -hmm. megabytes and you can't stream and it's yeah if all the kids are on it it's beyond frustrating so we really focused and made a significant investment knowing you know people that's important to people Um, so we uh, uh, have a program where our owners get guaranteed any time of the day or night 200 megabytes up and down wow it's unbelievable up and down up Whoa. and down and yeah, i down still I can can't see but the i still can't figure out how That's they do awesome. it i think it's yeah, like it's magic yeah. but we're we're offering that at the k's and we're going to do nice. that at the lux as I'll well sit in you the uh, lobby just to yeah. hang yeah. out and <laughs> you just sit there and watch youtube all day all right <laughs> or listen to stream podcasts, right? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I heard you. I heard you say that every unit comes with clap on, clap off. <laughs> no, just, right? Is that high tech? Isn't that high tech? Yeah, it's what you have in your house, right? <laughs> it's what we have in the Midwest. <laughs> in my house. Uh, I don't yeah. have that in my house. Yeah. yeah. Well, I clap one time and everything turned <laughs> off. <laughs> You're the tech guy, right? You're the one that turns everything on from your phone. I do. What's that <laughs> That's all That's why I asked about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is so cool. Any other things that you feel um, you want agents? Because, you know, most most people listening to this will be agents. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have some listeners. Mm-hmm. Obviously, the bulk are here in the Valley, but we do have some from California and uh, other places sure. in the country. Um, any other things that you want an agent to know about as far as what 
what you guys sure, are doing? Sure, sure. Well, I think, you know, we touched a little bit upon, upon the K's and how unique that project is in terms of that Santa Barbara look and feel. Yeah. Um, that oasis in the desert is is not something you find. You know, it's interesting in Ocotillo, um, when we were doing the landscaping design, they said we want 50% of your landscaping to be green, which here in, you know, this neck of the woods, that's not always the case. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's it's got a beautiful look and feel to it. Um, and it's phenomenal value. Hmm. So, you know, starting in the in the mid 200s really? for a beautiful condo with wow. all those amenity spaces. Oh, it's am I, can I live there? Yes, I'm absolutely. In my 40s. <laughs> all right. All right, cool. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was yeah. an age restriction. Yeah. So. <laughs> so that's the case. And then Toscana, as I said, you know, we're in closeout of building 10. Yeah. Phenomenal opportunity because out of our whole project, that's the only building that has that ability to do that 30 day or more rental. Um, and have that on-site property management company. Yeah. And then, of course, the, uh, you know, multitude of services. So, okay. um, again, great product there and great value there. So those uh, units are starting in the mid-200s as well and go up from there. Hmm, all right. And then, clearly, we're very excited about the Lux. We're yeah. going to launch and open our sales presentation center in March. Wow. And uh, those are going to be drop-dead gorgeous units. The amenities we have planned are... Where is that one located? That's uh, part of Toscana oh, as okay. well. In yes. De- Desert Ridge. In Desert oh, Ridge, nice. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so... It's uh, it's going to be so, incredible. So if, as an agent, because mm-hmm. I'm interested in this, um, you know, let's say we're we're focused on the new build niche. Right? Yes. What would you suggest a real estate agent do to be, you know, to to know um, new builds? To know new builds yeah, in yeah. terms of what's coming down the pipeline. That and also how to sell it, and you know how to um, just. Taking a real estate agent and say, okay, I'm going to teach you how to do new builds, how yes. to sell it. Yes. What would you suggest to them? You know, my recommendation would be go and see the actual sales team that's working for that particular developer. You know, mm-hmm. go into that sales presentation center and say, listen, I'm going to hope to bring some clients to you. Walk me through what is the best way that I can work with you to present yeah. this particular product. Okay. Because I know on our developments, we like the opportunity to, to kind of work with that agent versus just you know, give them right. to us. No, no, mm-hmm. we want to do the presentation together yeah. as, oh, as much okay. as possible. So, you know, our team is always open and, and welcoming to uh, anybody that has Good. a prospective buyer and wants to learn more. Awesome. awesome. Mm-hmm. Where would you send agents that are listening to this or watching mm-hmm. to see the problem? I mean, you want to share like a website or something? Sure, or where, yeah. Whatever, so whatever they can do. You can go to um, ToscanaDesertRidge.com. Okay. So that'll tell you a little bit more about Building 10 and the closeout of that particular project. And then the other uh, project is the K's at downtownocotillo.com. Okay. And a right. uh, beautiful website. It gives you a little bit of a glimpse as to the lifestyle that we offer there. Yeah. All mm-hmm. right. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for sharing all that. Yeah. Well, no problem. That's, that's Thanks for letting me talk about it. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're going to get in the ring now. You ready? Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. What's the best advice that anyone's ever given you? Well, I love Oprah. I want to be Oprah's best friend, but (laughs) apparently she's got that filled. Um, But I once heard her say that uh, no day is promised. And I think that, you know, when you recognize that, you live your life full in. Mm, Got it. All right. Good. Awesome. How about your favorite mobile app? The podcast app. Oh, I yay. love to listen to podcasts. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were telling me that before <laughs> yeah. we got out here. Really yeah. Love I just love it. Either that or maps. I mean, uh, <laughs> maps, maps is, is pretty awesome. important. <laughs> <laughs> maps is important. Very important. Especially if it's dark outside. Yes. You know. Yeah. Um, how about a book recommendation? You know, I recently read um, Big Shifts Ahead hmm. by Big John Shifts. John Burns. Huh. And it's it's a fascinating book. And I would encourage everybody that's listening to, to pick up a copy. It's about the demographic shifts hmm. Ooh, across like the that. board and the that, impact it's going to have on real estate in general. Wow. F- absolutely fascinating. Okay, what Picking was the name it up again? today. Uh, it's John Burns, okay. Big Shifts Ahead. Big Shifts Ahead. Okay. Yeah. Really good. I will get it today. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's on Audible. I don't know. I'm sure Audible. it is. I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure, sure it is. is. Popular yeah. book, I'm sure it mm-hmm. is. How about one productivity tool or software that you use on a regular basis? We use a system called Yardy. Yardy. A hmm. lot. Okay. That sounds familiar. And it's great because it does the, the sales interface with the accounting, 
the billing, the whole kit and caboodle. Okay. So I like it. All right. And one final question. Mm-hmm. I'll let you draw from the mask. Okay. This is beautiful. What is that, velvet? Do I read it? Yeah, go ahead. What is your favorite type of food and favorite mm. restaurant? Oh, my favorite type of food is anything chocolate related. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't know if they have down. a restaurant. For that, but. <laughs> favorite restaurant? Well, I can tell you, you can get an unbelievable chocolate dessert at um, uh, Oh Doodle. What's the name of the restaurant? Uh oh, never heard of that one. Yeah. No, oh, no. Doodle, no, <laughs> oh, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, we'll have to, you have to yeah. tell us. I, I can't think of it. Is the one that uh, is right off of um, Camelback Mountain on the backside, oh, yeah, where you have the beautiful that. view? You it's part of a resort. You haven't ridden your bike over that way, Joe? No, no. no actually, I not, have not the Biltmore. Hmm. Starts with an S. Yes. I don't know. Keep the listeners guessing. We've <laughs> yeah. got to end it on well, that if one. You, if you let us know, <laughs> if you let us know, we can put it in the description. Okay, the okay. Because yes. their chocolate dessert is That to gives die people for. a reason to go there, right? <laughs> to figure right. out. Right. So, well, thank you so much for coming in. Well, yeah, such a pleasure. This has been great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go check out the Acatillo. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you should. I'll, I can't wait till the Desert Ridge one comes because my wife and I are really looking for some urban living. Yes. So. The Lux is going to be unbelievable. Right. Well, thank you. Well, until next time, this is Jeff Underwood along with Joey Sampaga coming to you from Security Title Studios. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Adios. See ya. All right. Hey. Hey. Good job. We did it. <laughs> <laughs>